guys, it's Michael, and I realize I haven't updated this channel in a really long time, but I was just so busy with school, and yeah, that happened. So I graduated from high school, and right now I'm currently taking a gap semester, so I won't actually be starting college until January, so I have a lot of free time on my hands right now to kind of just work on my writing and hopefully work on this channel and just make it better and really make it what I want it to be. Um, I'm going to try to maybe veer off from just talking about books and as much as I love reading and writing in books, like I want to include other stuff on this channel so I'm still kind of trying to decide what that content is going to be but hopefully you guys will like it and I'm really excited about it. So this video is the top 5 things that I'm really getting tired of seeing in young adult fiction. And I guess there's just a couple of things that keep popping up in the books that I'm reading and it's just kind of getting a little bit old. The number one thing that I'm getting tired of seeing is the antagonist who is a dark and brooding teenage boy who is either half in love with the protagonist or he needs her for her power. Oh, and did I mention that he's usually very attractive and has raven black hair and stunningly blue eyes. I come across this character so much in sci-fi books and fantasy books that every time it literally feels like I'm reading about the same exact character. I can understand why this character would make an interesting antagonist, and let's be honest, this character usually has his own set of fangirls. But isn't it slightly creepy how obsessed this antagonist seems to be with the person that he's supposed to be against? And at the same time, he claims to have feelings for her, or have a connection to her, but at the same time, he wants to kill her friends and family. More problematic is that the female protagonist usually always has some kind of feelings or attachment to this character. It's what I call a creeper romance, and it just needs to stop right now. The second thing I'm going to talk about is the strong female protagonist. This girl is usually a teenage girl who has amazing combat skills or is amazing with a sword. She can take out five fully grown men twice her age with little to no help from anyone. And she usually is very sarcastic. Every other word out of her mouth seems to be bossy or rude or arrogant. And I think the author means for this girl to come out looking like the strong, independent, fierce woman when usually most of the time she just ends up looking like a jerk. I'm looking at you, Selena Sardothian. Again, this character is usually found in the majority of sci-fi, dystopian, fantasy books. I would like to point out that just because you're a great fighter or you're the most powerful person with magic in the room, it does not make you a strong character. I honestly roll my eyes every time this character appears because not only is it getting really old, but usually this character is also pretty unrealistic. A strong character is so much more than being better at all the guys at combat or swords or magic or that type of thing. What about being intelligent and outsmarting people yes. with your mind? Or what about simply overcoming the challenges in your life or overcoming a mental illness or an emotional struggle? Some of my favorite characters in young adult fiction that don't really have anything to do with being like a kick butt warrior person are Hermione Granger from Harry Potter, Louisa Clark from Me Before You, Tessa Gray from The Infernal Devices, and Nehemia from the Throne of Glass series. And I'm not saying a girl can't be a great fighter because they totally can't, but where are all my hardcore guy characters? I don't have enough. Which brings me to my next point, and that would be the lack of guy leads in young adult novels. Honestly, besides Harry Potter and Percy Jackson and The Maze Runner, I can't really think of any series that has a really good strong guy lead. There's a few contemporaries, but I mean, it's, it's definitely harder to find a good book or at least a good series with a really good strong male protagonist. I think guys need to be more in a book than just there to be the love interest of the female protagonist or to be the hot brooding villain. Like there's just so many other things that you can do with a guy character. And I just don't feel like we're writing the guys as well as we could be right now. And I think also a lot of books right now, in the young adult world at least, are being written by women. So maybe it is a little bit harder to switch into that male perspective and write from a guy's point of view. The fourth thing that I'm getting tired of seeing is books set in America. Like, there are other countries in the world besides America, and there are so many options. I would love to see more books set 
in Scotland, in Ireland, in China, in Australia, in Russia, in England. There's literally so many options. Why are we limiting ourselves to one country? I don't get it. And this is also true for sci-fi books or futuristic books. Um, the Hunger Games, the Selection series, Darkest Mind series, they all take place in a version of America that's set in the future. Besides the Lunar Chronicles and the Grisha Trilogy, I can't really think of any series or any good books I've read set in a country other than America. Big thing that is one of the most annoying things is when all the characters are ridiculously attractive. Can we just have some mildly ones? Like, you don't have to be ugly, but I'm tired of reading about guys with sapphire eyes and broad shoulders and girls that are petite with flowing long golden hair. Is anybody else with me on this? We need books where people are portrayed as actual realistic people and the majority of people in the world are not ridiculously attractive. So I wish we had more books that just portray people as normal. So that's pretty much everything I have today. Those are the top five things that I am most tired of seeing in young adult fiction. Let me know what your top five are or if you have any others that I didn't mention. There are probably more, but you can only rant about so many stuff in one video. Oh no, the battery's dying. Ugh. All right, that's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys soon with another video.